video for Introduction to Data Science in JavaScript. We'll be working with JavaScript, for loops, arrays, objects, things like that. This is intended to be a tutorial for beginners, so if you're advanced you can move along, but if you're just learning you might find this helpful. So we've got a small snippet of code here which uses an Ajax call to fetch some data from a server. We won't get into where the data comes from, but um, I will show you how it's structured and for the purposes of this exercise it'll have all you need. You'll also notice that we're creating a variable called dataset and we're setting it equal to that incoming data. We're logging it and we're showing a few additional attributes here. So I'll jump into the Chrome developer tools. You can see this is our giant object. It has 360 length, in other words 360 objects contained within our array. There is X and Y values. You can see I've console.logged an X value corresponding to the tenth object and a Y value also corresponding to the tenth object. So that's all well and good. What do we want to do here? Well the objective is to take these X values which are representative of time and create a brand new array which holds only these X values. So let's give it a shot. Let's go back into our text editor and we want to create a variable which is going to be an array in order to hold the time. Now we're going to enter into a for loop which some of you may have seen before. Looks a little bit like this where we set i equal to zero. We find the length of our array and we iterate one over one, each, one over one, for all i less than this particular length. So we showed earlier that the length of this is 360, so we're going to go from 0 to 360. And we're going to, let me get this a little more readable. We're going to push. the x values into our newly created time data array and then we're going to console.log time data. So let's save that, jump back in, refresh, and we've got a list of all of our time components in this tidy array, which is pretty sweet. Now we can do anything we want with this particular array. In my case, I'm going to use it for an x-axis on a time series graph. So just to do a quick review of what happened there, we've got our data set. We're getting that through an Ajax call. We created a new array, gave it a name time data. We did a for loop in JavaScript. We pushed onto that empty array all of the x attributes contained within our data set. And then we simply did console.log time data and there's our output. Nice ordered comma separated bunch of time series and I hope you'll find that informative. Thanks a lot.